Ladies and gentlemen, Darkside here, man. Welcome back to episode three of Boots and his career mode for Undisputed. As you can see, we are in the career hub yet again, man. Now we know a little bit more about how career mode works, different things we can look at. So we are going to go ahead and check out my team starting off here. And we're going to go to our coach. And you can see it looks like there's one contract left on all of them right here. So I'm going to my coach because I want to look at the contracts. Uh, each of our staff members will be signed up for individual contracts or a certain amount of fights. We know this. Um, once you reach the end of a contract with a staff member, you will need to renegotiate it. If you have a high affinity with your coach, they will offer you the same terms. If you do not, they might increase the financial terms. Yikes. So basically, if you're not doing good with your coach, they're going to tax you more. Hey, it's a dirty game, but it's how it's played, man. A <laughs> hey, dirty game, but it's how it's played. If you do not like the terms offered, you can switch your staff member for a new one on the My Teams page. Okay. Okay, so here's what we're looking at right now. Uh, we can view traits now, right? Okay, so these are the traits we can view. Can I assign any? Well, hold on. Okay, so we can assign traits. So we already have Bulldozer. Uh, which we don't really need Bulldozer, I feel like. Okay, that's all we have is Bulldozer. Oh, okay, I see, I see. So I need... Okay, so I gotta get a certain affinity to get a certain trait. Makes sense, makes sense. And this is where we could check our fight record. Uh, so you can't check your fight history, it looks like, unfortunately. Which I feel like is something you should be able to do in my tweaking. Definitely feel like your fight history is something that you should be able to see as well. Um, don't know why that's not in here. You, you would think it would be. Uh, kind of weird. But let's go back and unfortunately we cannot get distance keeper yet which is the one i really want that's why i chose this coach to begin with um so we're going to keep working on our affinity to get there we need 100 and i think right now we're at like 41 or something like that so we gotta keep winning fights to eventually get that distance keeper trait which is going to help us greatly with the damage on our jab all right so since we can't add distance keeper yet uh don't need to come. Wait, what do you mean upgrade them? Oh, you get points to upgrade specific stuff. So you can upgrade a category. So I think... Okay, so see he... Because uh, I want the distance keeper trait from this coach. But he doesn't really work for me as far as like what my strengths are. Like you see, it's like max strength. And it's like a F in defense right now. F in speed right now. And vitality. I feel like... We need to bump vitality up the bone. We put that to like 275. And then. Oh, we need. Okay. It's tough. I feel like my speed isn't too terrible right now. I'm going to max out uh, vitality. Um, and we don't need to give him a new contract quite yet. We got one more fight on the contract with him. So don't need to give him a contract quite yet. Uh, what about Cutman? Can we do anything here? Great contract. Okay, can't do anything here. Manager, can we do anything? Okay, nothing here as well. So just a coach. So let's just say for a second argument, we want to get a different coach. The coach is one of your three staff members. Okay, this is just basic stuff that makes sense. The coach's skills level are a key factor in how much XP you earn when leveling up your stats in fight camp. Okay, makes sense. Yep, that all makes sense. We all know that. So let's see who we'll be able to potentially get in the future. Milton, Lisa Trevor, Maya Jordan, Grant Smith, Frank Cruz, Henry Warden. Okay, okay. So they got to hear the big dogs coming in. Yeah. Bo Mag, Brian McIntyre. Okay. Dub, Bo Mag. So it looks like he's really good with the strength category, defense, and I want somebody who's actually really good defensively. Which would be Frank Graves. Really good. He's really solid overall, besides heart, honestly. So Bo Max there, Joel Diaz is another choice that could be interesting. Um, not really too good with this because our defense is low. Gallagher. Ooh, okay, so Gallagher's a really good, really good coach. Vitality is low with Gallagher. Um, same thing with Bo Max, it looks like. Um, but everything else, well, he's an a rank coach, so that's probably why. Uh, we got Ralph. Hey, I, I follow uh, Ralph on, uh, on Twitter. W guy. And then, of course, we got David Coldwell. Ooh, he's definitely definitely the one you want to try to strive towards because they got some good stuff as far as their uh, boosts. So that's definitely something I need to look into. 
Yeah. Alright, but we can't change that anyways as it is right now, so. Uh, I'm assuming we're just going to go ahead and get ready. So we're going to advance. A couple of weeks. Two and oh. Two wins. Zero losses. No games are being played. We come in here to be the best. So let's advance through these weeks. Get to negotiating this fight. Training through that fight camp. And get to work. Alright, so we have... Why would I rematch this guy for that low money? I already beat you, dog. So why are you checking for you? I already beat you. I, I got people all ranked higher than me. I, I think I need a couple of fights under my belt before I start manually choosing people, right? Because realistically, right, I'm at 46. These are the best fights for me, but I feel like those are pretty, the opponent's kind of low. This guy, his body, like, you can't, you can't mess around with that dude. Let's see what's up here. So we can realistically, well, this is as high as we can go, is like right up here. Um, 70 overall. Yeah, these are some demons. I mean, they're like 65 even is too high for what I I mean, I'm a 54. I'm basically a 54 right now. Shouldn't I be higher? Am I tweaking? Should I not be higher? Am I tweaking? Yeah, why is... Why am I a 57 overall, but it shows me a 54? I ain't got no debuffs on, right? I ain't no debuffs, so I don't know what's really... What's really good with that game. What's good with that, man? Alright, maybe it's just the way that it recognizes overalls in game? I don't know. Alright, man, so we're gonna go shoot a fight. I'm thinking this is the one. I mean, 2500 is pretty good, honestly. We want to build up that money and that rep. And this guy is a slugger as well. I feel like sluggers are going to be like the opponents I want to fight because they're going to be easiest to outduel. Um, oh, he has, oh, he has pretty high power. It's pretty high power. Oh. Uh, I think we can make it work. He recently fought George Davey as well. Uh, he got TKO'd by Davey. I think we can make this work, man. I'm gonna take him. They're giving me 70%, so I'm gonna do the same thing I did when I got a good deal like this last time. I'm gonna negotiate. I'm gonna take less money up front. I want more weeks training, and I want a little more promo. I want 25 fame off this fight. I want 5% promo. And I think they give me what I want. I mean, I got negotiating power because I'm better than he is, right? So I think we can do a little bit of that. I mean, maybe even like 10% pushing it. I feel like five. I feel like five for like a 25 gain. I think I feel like that's good. And he should accept this offer, which he, they do. So we got a little bit of what we wanted in there. So now we're gonna go ahead and go to the fight camp. Ooh, we have the option now to go to another team, another camp. Now, do we do that? So right here, we get basically just a 1.0 training bonus. You get three training bonus at this gym. And we have the money to sign up. So we have the sign up fee money. And we can pay that 300 weekly, I think. I low-key want to go there. And we got the fame required. You will not be able to afford the weekly camp fee. Okay, so never mind. So we have enough basically to pay them up front, but we don't have enough for six weeks of a camp. So next time I think we should have enough to train here, but for now we're going to use turners again. Uh, we're on weight. We are under trained though. I want to work my vitality, mostly anything that can help with my body health, which is going to be yoga. Um, so I'm thinking I want to get my left hand power up a little bit more as well. So we're going to come out with the speed bag. Uh, and then we might even double up on the speed bag. Actually, I want to work my job as well. Keep working my job. But this helps with health recovery as well. I think we spar. 
Uh, then I think that we do a social media post. Then we will do some defensive sparring. I feel like I'm going to drain this pretty bad. I think we do some yoga here. All right. Then I think we jump rope. And then recover. And I think we recover right here. We should go up to 100. Okay, we went up to 85. Okay, so that's not terrible. I think that's pretty good management. Uh, we are ready to start our fight, but I want to go ahead and check my notifications to see how the fight camp went. We are at peak performance, so we should be good. Uh, let's crack, man. Let's do it. Now, last fight, I was feeling that undisputed difficulty. I was feeling that. I was feeling that difficulty, but here we are again. Our third fight, looking to go 3-0. and And right, man, let's do it. I like our chances. I feel like we had a pretty good camp. Should have a pretty good debuffs. I said debuffs. Good. Oh yeah, come here. I, I like I like our movement in there. We feeling a little energized. We should be doing good. Good left hook right there. Oh, my head health. That took some damage. Hold on. Good job. Outside job. Now drive to the body. Bang bang. Double hook up top. Fade away hook. He slipped it. Use our defensive tools. Jab again. Oh, I try hit him with that cross. Jab to the body. Then with that jab again. Uh, I should have stepped in with that a little bit more. Go ahead and circle out. The body. Okay, we're taking. Taking a little too much damage. Oh! All right, this is a little sketch. A little sketch. Try to hit him with that check hook. Look at his body right here. Body. Head. Oh, you gotta give me that. Give me that one. Stamina's low, so I'll wait till that regens before you attack. Look at this body again here. All right, this is not a close round. We could have lost this round. Could have lost that round. We got hit a lot. I know they're gonna tell me about it. Yeah, I took a bit of damage there. Looks like they're going to be using that straight, keep your guard up, and have a good movement pattern. Alright, so I can counter a lot more during this round than I did in the last one. Because he was able to hit me a lot, just from catching me coming in. So, make him reach, and I will teach. Keep utilizing our good job. And we boosted up that job for a reason. Uppercut right there. There we go. Looking for a power across right here. Right across his draw. Escape. On top of the head. Power jab. Back down to his body. A little two piece. Uppercut. Hook. To the body. Evade all them shots back in to the body. Woo! Power jab. Power jab again. One more. Power jab again. Power cross. His body again. Fade away hook. Cut him. Can't trade on the inside against a slugger. If I fight like a boxer puncher, some of these like an outboxer, I can pressure them a little bit more. But against the slugger archetype, I'm not really too uh, looking forward to getting on the inside against them. I should have evaded that. Let's 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was good defense by him. Ah, just out of range. Yeah, uppercut right here. All right. Ah, oh, man. Keep hitting them with the straight. Okay. You can feel it. You can feel it. It's difficult. It's not easy. You can feel it. You can feel it. It's not easy. Good counter right there. Another good counter right there. Then the cross right there. Back with the power cross. Did I get some punches off on me? No, sir, I'm not there for that. Check hook. Fade away hook. Back out. Fade away hook. Yeah, I thought he was going to walk forward into that. There we go. Counter him up right there. 2 1. 1 2. There we go. Okay, they like that body uppercut, don't they? These calves, they sure, they sure know something. Get the body, the body shot. Power drag, another power drag. On the end of our punches. By the time he blocked it. We're gonna go down to his body right here. Bang, back up top. Ooh, he's lucky that uppercut missed. Walking in with the uppercut that time. Up. Just trying to see what he wants to do. Up. Body right here. Bang. Ooh. Mm. I'm not gonna set him up for this uppercut. I'm looking for this uppercut. There we go. That uppercut came out slow, but that hook didn't. Come on, man. It's not going to be enough time. Hey, 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 hey. Ah, it wasn't enough time. That was a good read, though. I think we're good here. I think we're good here. Yeah, I figured he might have taken that first one. I got hit a lot. Ah, again, man. Just out of range. Jeez, bro. They could throw, like... You could tell, like... We're, we're similar overall. You can throw who could throw more and who can uh, lose them faster in some cases. Makes it very difficult to implement <sighs> your own game plan. You know, you're dealing, you're fighting some stats and some. Oh my god, like, what are we doing? <laughs> this is tough. Well, this is what we signed up for. It's exactly what we signed up for. Ah. Uh, oh, be careful with that. And with that body. Be careful on our end. Another power shot. Pop them across again. Alright, here's gonna come down to this. Like, ooh, look him up a little bit right there. All right, I think we didn't have to take that. I think we didn't have to take that, man. That's us. True, boy, these, bro, you could tell. This dude should not be this fast and have this much power. But we signed up for undisputed difficulty. It's going to be hard. It is. Looking all right, though. Looking all right. Uh, so we lost one round. I kind of knew. I kind of had a feeling we lost that round. Even though it was pretty close, and you could argue I won it, 
but I got hit too much in that round, so I can't really complain. Uh, but overall, we fought that pretty well. Um, it was tough though, it was tough. It was definitely tough. Um, yeah, you can see he has 82% health and 76% stem still. Yeah, that was hard, that was hard, man, I'm not gonna lie. You can tell the fights are not easy, they're not easy. Not easy, but we fight anyways, we fight. That's just what we do. That's what we do. I'm guessing I got another B. Uh, I think C is too low for that. I mean, we did lose a round, but I mean, we fought the fight we had to fight. You know what I mean? So hopefully my coach is understanding and a kind individual. And he doesn't really bring the hammer down on me. Pause. Um, yeah, so we can hope for that. We did end up getting another 1300. 19 fame. Did not negotiate for more. Am I tweaking? Or is that just a bonus? And we didn't move on any rankings, which is not what we want to see. Gave me a C. Opponent rank was an F? That was an F rank? I guess because I'm higher ranked, it, it makes sense. But I took too much damage, of course. Damage management. And of course, our accuracy is always going to be the shining star and the result. But everything else was mid. Uh, I guess opponent was just not what we wanted to see, I guess. But we completed a lot of stuff. We got block regen. We got a plus one to guarding, plus one to block health, plus one to agility, and a plus one to our power punch modifier. Uh, that's all good stuff. But uh, and all of our coaches out of contract, so we can't even move to another gym because we gotta pay these dudes, man. Every coach is out of contract. Our coach, cutman, and managers are all out of contract, which means we gotta pay them. We're already building affinity with him, so I'm trying to renew the contract at a reasonable rate. Um, he wants 7% of my earnings in the next two fights. I have to accept, don't I? So we're gonna sign, we're, we're signing on another line. Uh, it should show that he's here now, right? So we extend him for two fights. Uh, this is our cut man. Uh, let's see if we can get him on another seven fight deal. I mean, do I really need him on seven fight deal? Put him on a five fight deal. And he just wants a percentage of my check, of course. So of course. Put him on a five fight as well. Since we don't get no boost from him, we can always switch these guys out more. The coach, I feel like, is the most important of them all because that's where your trace will come from. Uh, so we'll do that. So we have two more fights with our coach uh, before we extend him. And I think we'll have enough if we go ahead and uh, do this uh, flip of the button here. So I'm going to go ahead and sim through some of these weeks and we will get back when the negotiations begin. So what do I do a six week training camp? Or maybe I do 10 week training camp at a 50% cut. We go 50 50. No, we go more. I should be making like at least 1500. So he's not gonna accept that though. He probably won't accept that. I wanna gain max fame. Go eight week training camp. I'll take 40. 45, 45, I'll take 45 here. It's reasonable, right? I feel like this is reasonable. Two media activities, so I feel like one media activity actually would be more. I feel like that's reasonable, right? Come on, man, do me a solid again. All right, they countered. They countered, and what is the counter though? Well, oh, they're cool with everything but the money. But they don't want to pay me. Okay, they don't want to pay me 45, so they want me to go lower than 45. I'm not getting less than a thousand for this game. I feel like a thousand is too. Is that not too low? Thousand? For a tough fight? I mean, yeah, you get more fame, higher ranking. I'm going no lower than 40. If he if he backs out the deal, then so be it. But I'm not going no lower than this. Oh, this might be a bad idea. 
this might be a bad idea, but I want that fame, man. I'm trying to climb these rankings. So we signed on the dollar line. It's just go time now. All right, gang. I need to know what he's dealing with, who I'm dealing with, though. So he's a swarmer. Oh, brother. He has the potential to challenge the best. Jesus, he has, oh, he, oh boy, he has good power. Real good power in his left hand and his right hand. And he's a power, oh, he's a power puncher overall. Okay, but he has low head health. So maybe we hit him in his head enough, we can stop him. This might have been a mistake. Might have been a mistake, but we'll see. We shall see. All right, let's go to the fight camp. Let's train it up. Now, I don't know if I have enough to train here for this fight. Let me see what it let me. Okay, I can. Let's do it. I'm training here. All right, I paid the Piper to train at St. Andrews. So here we are at St. Andrews. My money is gone. But hopefully we can get a bigger boost. So we're going to work speed bag, I think. Or it's the job at, actually. Yeah, let's work speed bag. Actually, no. I think I want to work training dummy. So this takes 25% of the energy. This is better for the health boost, though. I say we go for the reflex. No, actually. Hmm. So we got coach bonus on here. Maybe we do speed bag. Let's do speed bag. <laughs> we'll do speed bag. And offensive sparring. Then we'll do a media activity right there. Right, right, right. Then we do some yoga. And then we recover. No, actually we don't recover yet. After the yoga, we do, what's the job at the training dummy? We do the training dummy. Now we're depleted, so now we recover. All right. Then after we recover, we're gonna do some more yoga or we could do something like offensive sparring and then recover one more time and I think that's the glitch right all right I think that's actually the glitch I think that's I think that's looking good I think that's good okay I think we're looking good 61 okay I think we're looking good that was actually good camp that was good camp good camp all right, boys, let's get to it. Let's do it. All right, here we go. That's the one we've all been waiting for. Oh, it's going to be a toughie. It's going to be a toughie. We got to stick to our game plan during this fight. We can't We can't want to entertain the crowd and get a little rowdy. We have to stick to our game plan. He's going to give us opportunities to counter. We have to take it. We have to take it. Take what he gives us. Take what he gives us. All right, I'm just kind of trying to figure out what he's doing. Just feeling him out. What, what strikes does he like to use? Cracked him right there. Ooh, that didn't counter. Shot. That did. There you go. Fall back hook. Just missed. Pop him with a power jab. Wait till our stam comes up a little bit. And go to his body. There you go. Work the job. Fall away hook. Uppercut. Hook. Break the clinch. Miss the job. Recover our stand. Go back in. Power across. Look at hook. Maybe get a little slip. Maybe. Roll. Woo! Power across. Oh, just missed the uppercut uh, counter again, man. We're so close to hitting that multiple times. Fall away hook. Hit him with that uppercut. I hit him with another one. Jab him. Oh, I try to walk him into that power cross. Good job. Get 
Get out of the pocket. Another good job. Good power cross. Ooh, good power jab. Ooh, good step off jab into the power cross. Good around. That's all around for sure. Yeah. We took a quite a bit of damage there. Oh my god, bro. They hit hard, man. Trying to get our health stats up because they hit hard. Cause I feel like we did a lot of good evasion. Somehow we took good damage there. Crack him right there. He don't got a chin. Remember that. He don't got a chin. We got to remember that. He got power, but he don't got a chin. That's, that's the difference here. Can't forget that. You gotta respect his power. But you gotta remember he don't got a chin like that. He can get he can get touched. He can get touched. We can't be too scared in here. Healthy fear. Healthy fear. Body. Back up top. All the way hook. Another one. Oh, there it is. Yes, come here. Hey. Hey, yeah! There it is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We needed that. We needed that. That was worth the risk right there. Bang! Right to the side of the head. Worth the risk right there. You can't forget. This is why it's important to check your opponent's stats. Because yes, his power is cracked. Got heavy hands, but he has no chin. So with me knowing he has no chin, sometimes you want to get a little, you know, get a little risky in that pocket. to get some shots off on him because his chin is not good. It's, it's way weaker than mine. He got, his head health is very low. So with that said, you know, the head health being so low, and he got the Philly show, utilize them hooks. Utilize that straight right over the right over the guard. I'm not gonna give him no no uh, free stuff right here either. He's gonna be right back in here, hitting him, hitting him back in his head. Ooh. Good counter by him. Good counter by us. Oh. There you go. Yeah, he thought I was gonna back up again, huh? Hmm, hmm. Yeah, see, so he thought I was gonna back up again. I'm staying in the pocket a little bit. That's why I'm a boxer puncher. I can't fight in the pocket. Ooh, God. Bro, it looks so impactful in these replays. They really do. Watch this. Hey! Man, look like he got shot right there, huh? Ah! Love to see it. Love to see it. See, I gotta remember that. I gotta keep that in mind. When I know they got low vitality status, their head health is low, I can't be too afraid to be able to throw my punches on the inside. I do need to work my hooks a little bit more now if I plan on doing that, because my hooks are not good right now. So they're a little bit on the slower side. But if I plant my feet, I can, I can let some of these hands go, man. I can let these hands go. Two knockdowns, man. Let's go. Yeah, I think we got this one in the bag. You don't got a good health or a good recovery, I believe. So we just stick stick to our game plan. Should be good. Oh my God! Yes, more. Set him up for this uppercut right here. Bang! There it is. All right. Oh, he, I think I might have hurt him a little bit. He backed up. Might be a little hurt right here. Yep. 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 Hey. 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 Hey! Oh, I tried to get him one on the way down too. Dang. Yeah, there you go. It's good. It's good for us. It's real good for us. Real good for us. Hmm. I tried to give him that one on the way down. I did. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, see a slugger. When a slugger gets pushed back, they're not because a slugger don't expect to get hit. So no one's going to hunt a slugger, right? Because you want to run from a slugger. But I know your game. I am familiar with your game. Please stay down. Come on, gang. What happened to some of these knockdowns being more devastating, making these people stay down? What happened to that gang? Huh? Oh, he's still hurt. Go, 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 go. He's still hurt. He's still hurt. Come here. Hmm. Hmm. That was a power shot, too. That's night, night time. Spread him. That's night, night time. That's the power hook. Hey. And one on the way down. Power hook right here. Regular punch, and then another power hook. Ah. And then right back across his jaw for good measure. Hey. Take that, Mandarin. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. He was everybody who played the Mandarin in the Iron Man movie. Iron Man 3, that is. Not the actual Mandarin. 
Yeah, that should be it. That's, that's raps, right? That's raps. Gotta be raps. Gotta be raps. Gotta be raps. Gotta be raps. Yes, sir. Come on, man. Needed that. We need that. I need that. Come on. Good performance yet again. That's one of our best performances yet. That's just recognizing who you're dealing with and what, what their weakness is. I had to remember he didn't have good head health. Otherwise, I probably would have been on my bike trying to utilize my job for most of the fight until I could wear him down. But when I remembered that, it was just like, look at this, this massacre. Just a massacre. Come on, man. Talk to you, boy, man. Talk to me. To me. All right, so there we go. We got our 28 plus for the fame. A thousand bucks. We probably should have made more off this. We might have to find a bum next to make some more money. But that's what we that's what we really wanted was the rankings increase. Because now we're 45 in the WBC, 45 IBF, 43 for the WBO, and 33 in the Steel City rankings. That's what we wanted. And we got back to our A. Back to our A ranking. Somehow I got an E opponent rank. I don't know how I got an E. Uh, my opponent was pretty good. I don't know how I got one star there. He was pretty good. Uh, so I don't know why they did me dirty there. But A's across the board besides our defense. I thought my defense was tight though to be honest. Maybe it's because I took a little bit more punches because on the inside and deal that more damage. It was cool by me. I feel like we was dealing in there. And this is a big thing for us right here which is perfect because we wanted an increase in head health and body health. You see we got our plus one for hitting those objectives. Also we got plus one in stamina and health recovery along with discipline. So that was actually a really good uh Really good thing for us right there. And then we're gonna have some more of these objectives we're gonna be trying to hit in our future fights. We are officially a 60 overall. No injuries, we're looking good. Check our notifications, it's from the last one I believe, which it is. All right, I think that's gonna go ahead and do it for episode number three when it comes to the Jerome Boots and his career, my man. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'm actually having pretty good fun playing through this and kind of enjoying this journey with you guys. So if you guys are, make sure to leave a like down below, comment down below what you guys think about it so far, and make sure you guys catch the next one, and it comes to episode four, and I'll see you then. Take it easy.